And welcome back to L.A. Rider. You know, just across the street from the old state capitol is the USS Kidd Veterans Memorial. It's a great place to visit, whether you're a veteran or just interested in military history. It's just a short ride from Louisiana's old state capitol to the USS Kidd and Veterans Memorial, located on River Road, just across the street from the Baton Rouge River Center. The complex, which features a naval and military history museum, a veterans memorial, and of course the Fletcher class World War II era destroyer USS Kidd, is under the direction of Maury Drummond, who graciously offered me a tour. Maury, you've got such a complex down here that I don't think people realize what they can learn, what they can uh, find out about the veterans here in, in Louisiana. Tell us what you have. In this particular area, uh, we have the statue of General uh, Lejeune, who was from Point Capi Parish, overlooking our Memorial Plaza. Now, in the Memorial Plaza, it's all black granite, and it's over 8,000 men and women names in the plaza uh, from Louisiana who, who died in all the wars. There's a plaque. Uh, there were so many men killed in the Civil War that this is a plaque that commemorates that. Uh, the eternal flame we uh, we have, uh, we didn't put any inscription on the eternal flame because we let it become whatever it meant to the vista. And this past Memorial Day, we put sadly we we finally put uh, 128 names killed in Iraq and Afghanistan. On the other side of the Memorial Plaza, and we can walk just a little bit this way if you want to. Uh, we have the Corsair A7E, mm -hmm. which is dedicated to our Vietnam veterans. We have a plaza underneath it, and uh, this uh, the USS Ranger, and the uh, squadron was the Argonauts. You know, it's been a while since I've been on this boat. Mari, you gave me my first tour, I think, probably 15 years ago. Of course, the main attraction is the Kid, which served in both World War II and the Korean War. There are a number of decommissioned naval vessels across the United States, but according to Drummond, the Kid is one of a kind. There's 120 ships uh, worldwide that's in an organization called Historic Naval Ships Association. We are rated the number one restored ship in the historic fleet, number one. And the reason is, is we kept it just like it was in World War II, at the end of World War II. Drummond says visitors can tour the entire vessel and stay as long as they like, and some groups can actually spend the night. One of the things we do here that a lot of people don't realize for Girl Scouts, Boy Scouts, school groups, uh, uh, birthday parties, they can spend the night on the ship. Inside the museum, you can learn more about the Kidd and its namesake, Rear Admiral Isaac Kidd, who died on the bridge of the USS Arizona during the attack on Pearl Harbor. There are also exhibits about a number of Louisiana war heroes and military commanders, including General Claire Chenault. General Chenault, who was raised in waterproof Louisiana, was the founder and commander of the infamous Flying Tigers who fought the Japanese in China prior to America's involvement in World War II. And then there are model ships, dozens of them, and it's here we learned that two of them were constructed by Drummond himself. What, how long did it take you to do this? About eight years. <laughs> eight years. Right. And it's insured for $80,000. $80,000. If you look on the deck, it's uh, you, you, you learn some little tricks. Uh, caulking was black, so I used black electrical tape. And for the little pegs, you see the little pegs? Uh -huh. That's the end of toothpicks. The Kid is also the centerpiece of Baton Rouge's annual 4th of July celebration, which culminates with fireworks on the river and a reenactment of a Japanese kamikaze attack on the Kid. 38 men were killed when a Japanese suicide bomber crashed into the forward boiler room on August 11, 1945. But the kids survived that attack and went on to serve another two decades before being decommissioned. It was transferred to the Louisiana Naval War Commission in 1982. If you want to know more about the USS Kidd and Veterans Memorial, you can visit their website, USSKidd.com. Stay with us. We'll be right back.